Take two. Hopefully there's no distractions in this video. Today is going to be a video that I've never done before. It's probably going to be one of my hardest videos. It's so different. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Rachel. Um, just to save a little bit of a hassle and a, a viewer discretion thing, uh, maybe click out of here or if you watch this video, check out some of my other videos because this is the first time I've ever done a video like this. Um, so, but anyway, my name is, is Rachel. I do lifestyle mommy vlogs. Um, I do hacks, um, decluttering, cleaning, motivation, grocery haul, stuff like that. So if you guys like that, make sure you subscribe down below and let's get straight into this video. Um, this might be a little bit emotional for some people. It is a little bit emotional for me. I'm going to try my hardest not to cry during this video. Um, we're trying to make it short and make sure that I get all of the facts and everything possible. Novelle is going to be coming in and out. So I hope that doesn't distract a lot of you. I know that's going to be kind of a distraction to me. But anyway, we're just going to get right straight to it. So August of 2018, Colt and I had a miscarriage. We were seven weeks along to the day that we found out um, that we were miscarried, miscarrying. Um, I found out when I was five weeks. Before I fully get into it, I am a breastfeeding mother. So my cycles were not regular. My first cycle that I got back was when Novell was eight months, which was January of 2018. That was the only cycle I had and then they completely went away again and it was like a very spotty cycle. It wasn't even a real period. So <clears throat> I didn't realize that I was pregnant in July. Like everybody was telling me, you look like you're knocked up. You look a little bit um, glowy. Your face is a little bit pale. Um, I remember running past a coworker when I worked at Tops, and he looked at my one of my best friends who worked there. She was a little bit older than me, so she could have been, you know, my mom, but um, she was like the best person ever and I could go to her about anything. But um, he looked at her and he was like, what if she knocked up? And she laughed and she was like, oh, I don't know. But they were joking with me for a while that I was pregnant. And I was like, I'm not pregnant. Like, you don't, no, 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 no. We don't do it enough to say that we're pregnant or anything. Um, well, a couple weeks later, August 4th, I want to say, August 3rd, we were at the um, county fair and I started getting a little bit nauseous and I started getting like dizzy like a very weird dizzy that my stomach started to be feeling weird then I got really dizzy and it was just from the wind blowing and it hit me in the face like whoa like what's wrong well I went home and I was like if I were to have a menstrual cycle it'd be here by now possibly if it was if it was regular and because that was around the time that I had it in January I just blew it off didn't say nothing didn't say nothing to Cole I just waited so we got home and I laid down and I went straight to sleep I nursed Novell to sleep beforehand so I could sleep well, on <clears throat> August, I believe it was August 17th, um, I had called my doctor and I said, listen, I'm pregnant. She asked me, how do you know? And I said, I just know there's this thing in my head. I had the same symptoms as I did with my daughter, Novell, who was my first and only pregnancy. And I just know it right straight down to the nosebleeds with Novell I found out when I was only two weeks and five days along because I had a nosebleed and my mom had nosebleeds when she was pregnant found out very early as well so I went to the emergency room told them all the symptoms I was having just to make sure that it wasn't an ecotopsic or ecotopic pregnancy um they took a blood test right away and they were like you're pregnant how'd you know and I was like I just knew <laughs> so and my levels at that point were seven three five at two weeks and five days and then I had my first sonogram with her at three weeks and five days just to make sure it wasn't an ectopsy or ectopic um but anyway back to this one so my doctor was like take a test in a couple days and then call me back like she did not she didn't believe me so I was like okay whatever so I took a pregnancy test couldn't get it took another pregnancy test couldn't get it I was about um we'll say roughly six weeks and four days when I took my first pregnancy test and actually got three of them right in a row. And I'll answer that right here. Um, so in those, um, short last couple days, which I had known I was pregnant, um, I started feeling the symptoms about four or five weeks. I'd say more five weeks. I started feeling like full on symptoms. Um, but I was only, when I first started feeling the symptoms of the nausea, nausea and stuff, I was about four weeks to the day at the fair. Um, <clears throat> so on the 19th, which is when I took these pregnancy tests, um, they were very dark. Colt was in the bathroom with me, so it was Novell. 
and I took them and I went up in the row like as you saw the bottom one I started there and I went up with my urine he was like Rachel they're, they're turning dark and I was like no they're not so I was like oh my god with a smile on all of our faces Novell was like no she was already saying no she didn't want another sibling she wanted me all to herself because she's she's very very stingy when it comes down to mommy she doesn't like to share me um and so we called his parents and we told them and they were like we don't want to get excited just in case you know anything happens well they didn't want to get excited for us they got excited for Colt's brother but that's a different story um <clears throat> so um we called my doctor again the next day which was the 20th and she said take a pregnant or take a blood test I'll send you an RX script um via fax and I want you to take it in three days well let's just say we didn't make it to those three days I started spotting um on the yeah. 20th and it was a very light spot I asked around everybody said it was completely normal well, I let it go. On the 21st, I started spotting a little bit more, but it wasn't enough to say a period. And I was kind of panicking a little bit. I took the day off of work. I was, like, a little bit scared. I was like, I never spot up with Novell at all, so I don't know what's going on here. So, the morning of the 22nd. I went to bed on the 21st that night, and I was feeling completely fine. Like, I felt like a new woman. My face was, like, very bloodshot. Like, not bloodshot, but, like, red because of the extra blood in my system. And it felt really weird. Like, I felt like tomorrow it's going to be a different day and tomorrow something's going to happen. There was just something going on in my head. Something's going to happen. And I'm not sure what it was. So I went to sleep. I woke up at 6 a.m. the next morning. Something told me to get out of bed right away. I was laying on my back. And, like, I'm not sure if anybody else would know, but that feeling you have when you're getting ready to go on your period and you have, like, a blood clot that's, like, exiting your body... I felt that, but I had this urge to, like, push. It was like a poop, but, like, out of my vaginal canal, if you know what I mean. Probably not. That's the best I could explain it. I waddled to the bathroom because I could feel something was sitting there on my pad because I did have a pad on, like, a regular pad just in case I did start a period or, like, something else. Or the bleeding got worse because we have white sheets and we didn't want to ruin them at the time. <clears throat> so I'm waddling to the bathroom, making sure that whatever's in my underwear doesn't fall out. Here's going to be the emotional part, and I'm going to try my hardest not to upset anyone or upset myself. I sat down on the toilet, and I pulled my pants down. And I looked in my underwear on the pad, and I saw my baby in my underwear. And it was about this big, we'll say. It was round, like very round. It was about that round, we'll say. About that long. I took pictures. You couldn't really see a baby, but you could see like the gray and white tissues that make up the baby. And I knew that that was my, my child, my unborn child. So without thinking, cause I was like completely in shock, sitting there staring, I wanted to just pick it up with my hand and take it into show coal. And I didn't. I, for some reason, <clears throat> was so in shock. I wrapped it up in my pad cause it was already in there. And I threw it in the garbage. I was like, well, I went back in. I started rushing back in the bedroom. I woke Cole up. And I was like, Cole, Cole, Cole. He wouldn't wake up. I was like, Cole, I think I just lost the baby. Instantly, he got out of bed. <clears throat> so I told him I was rushing in the emergency room. I got in my car. I called into work. I drove straight to the hospital. And they told me I had just had a complete miscarriage. So, um, I didn't need a DNC or nothing. The next step to do was to grieve because my devout body had just went through a trauma and understand that God does these things for a reason. There had to have been a com like a reason that I had a complete miscarriage, not having to have a surgery, the baby exited by itself. <clears throat> so I was thinking about everything. I went straight home afterwards after I was signed out. They offered me counseling, but I just didn't feel comfortable. There, my um, nurse, he was... Um, a little bit older. His name was Ron, I believe. He was very understanding. He was telling me that he had four girls and before they had four girls, they had three miscarriages. And he was such an honest and understanding man. He asked me if I was trying. I said, no, we had unprotected sex one time once and we got pregnant. Same with Novell. We had unprotected sex one time, weren't trying, got pregnant. Um, 
So I ended up leaving after that. Um, and I unwrapped the baby. We ended up burying the baby in our future home, which is not, excuse me, right now it's Colt's parents' house, but it's our future home. When they pass, we move in. Um, we buried our child in the backyard and there's a purple plant. Um, at the very end of this video, I'm going to post, um, I'll make sure I add a picture of Novelle sitting next to the angel and then a picture of the plant if I can. Um, we buried the baby in the backyard. It's in like a Ziploc baggie and a box and everything. Um, and we found out later they did a few tests on me and cause my levels were at 2112. So I was pretty far along when I did miscarry. They said that I was exactly seven weeks to the day. Um, they said that, um, my cervix were not strong enough to carry the baby because when they had, um, looked at the baby cause they asked me to bring the baby to the doctor's office. I took the baby there. They did, like they didn't poke at it too much because they wanted to keep it intact the way it was. But they said that the baby was measuring above average um, at a 99 percentile. I'm not sure how they could do that, but they did. And the baby was too heavy for my cervix. Um, it was attached to the uterine lining, but because your cervix are so high when you first become pregnant, like my body, I guess, couldn't handle it. <clears throat> so they said I most likely would have had a big baby. Just like with Novell, I almost had a 10 pound baby. And I went 10 days early. So I almost had a really, really big baby. Um, so that was possibly the reason. But it's not my fault. It's not any of your fault. Nobody ever knows why this happens at all. No, I was putting her alphabet things in my pocket. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot harder than what it actually was to tell you guys. I did tear up in a few spots. I had to stop the camera um, in certain areas. So... I apologize for that. It is tough still. Um, it's been a year now and since I had the miscarriage in September when I, um, I bled for 11 days but it was like a spotting bleeding when it happened. After it happened we had to wait a whole month to start over again and uh, now my period has been here every single month. Um, it's never been late or anything but I feel like this month is possibly the month that we will conceive. I'm praying. I'm hoping. Um, so because my dream is to tandem nurse before Novell weans or subsides from nursing. I really want a tandem nurse so bad. I want both my babies to be on both sides looking at me and I want to have, I want them to both understand, especially Novell since she'll be weaning off. I don't want her to think that I'm upset with her because she's weaning. So, and that's another video to talk about later for my goals for tandem nursing. Um, but yeah, just remember that it's not your fault. If anybody has gone through this before, I am so sorry. I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Um, I hope though that it gets better for you. Um, as it has a little bit for me, it's gotten a lot better. I was like so bad where I couldn't be around children. I couldn't be around, um, other pregnant women or nothing. Like it was so bad, but now I'm gotten through that part. I'm just hurting on the inside just a little bit when I remember things. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And again, I am so sorry. This is like one of the hardest things I had to do. This has been so stressful. It's been weighing in on me. I feel like now that you guys are viewing more of my content, I feel like I owe you an explanation to tell you what's going on in case something down the road happens where it's mentioned and you're like, wait a minute, back up, what happened? Because it's been a, almost a year now. The 22nd will be a year since this happened. And I don't want anybody wondering and having to come out because when I was making my breastfeeding video, it popped up on my mouth like three or four times. I had to edit it out because I was like, they don't even know about that yet. And I wasn't going to talk about it. I was just going to be like, so guys, yeah, I had a miscarriage and this happened and this happened. And I was like, edit out, edit out, edit out. Because I don't want you guys to, I wanted to do this personally. So, but anyway, thank you guys so much for your support and everything in the future that you guys are going to give to us. Um, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you're new here, like I said before, check out one of my different um, videos, especially if you made it this far. Make sure you check it out. Enjoy my little family. Um, enjoy life. And have a very blessed day. But until then, God bless you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.